Meow. Meow. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>Hi guys, Brick McBricksworth here, and today I am going to be showing you the Lego Harry Potter Night Bus. Now, this is a cool scene out of one of the Harry Potter films, uh, where Harry Potter jumps on the night bus and it just goes mental through the streets of London, wherever it is. I think it's London, isn't it? But yeah, so the set is 75957, the night bus. It's a triple tiered bus in Poiple. As a Lego set, it looks pretty cool. I think it'd be a nice addition to the old city behind me. So, let's build this up, have a look at it, and uh, let's see what we think. So straight off, let's open the box. Dun 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 Open in a box Open in a box <laughs> Righty Get it open nice and carefully, get rid of El Knifeo And let's see what we've got, so It's empty That's that done So we've got bag number three Bag number one and bag number two So three bags And a manual. And out drop some stickers, which is not too bad. Not too many stickers on there, which isn't too bad. There's a few, but not too bad. So, usual. Let's, uh, usual, usual. And at the back, as per, it shows you the building instructions and your piece count. Let's build it. Let's have a look and see what we think. So guys, let's have a look at this in more detail. So you've got a triple decker bus that's in the Harry Potter film, all destinations, nothing underwater. It says on that sticker there. And again, there's another sticker on the back there what says the same thing. Uh, triple, I say triple decker bus in purple. And we've got one minifigure on the back. Let's move that out of the way and have a look at him. So the conductor there, nice little uh, silver bit on the front for his ticket machine. Uh, no alternate face, obviously, on that one because it's just a hat, so you'd see it. But yeah, really good printing. Uh, I like the printing on the hat there with the red band around and the black uh, peak. So it's dual molded really well, that one. Looks pretty good. Move him out of the way and go back to the bus. So yeah, we've got this, this side of the bus where... You've got quite a lot of glass pieces in this one, so it's built up quite tall with not too many pieces, which is good because you can have a nice big set, uh, not too difficult for maybe younger people to build, so that's pretty good. And around the back, so you've got the rear entrance there, and you've got some rear lights on there and everything. The hang holder for the uh, control to hang on to when the bus is going mega speed. Around the other side, a clever little way to actually get into the bus, which is quite hidden well. There's a nice little hinge piece there. There's a couple of hinges, like one there, one there, and one up there. So there's three hinges in total in the black, so you don't actually see them, which is really, really well thought out where they've actually placed these ones. So you can it's barely visible, so open it up, and you can see in. So you've got the, the bed uh, piece, uh, you know, I think that's that's what that one is. It's like you could put a figure in there and he could have a sleep. And it is a night bus so after all, so he could have a little sleep. Really good touch, the chandelier. The chandelier that when, you, when you're moving it about, actually shakes about like it did in the film, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's have a look at Harry Potter while we're there. Move the night bus out of the way again. So we've got a nice... Harry Potter minifigure with the so he's obviously he's dressed in his casuals because he's not he's not at Hogwarts yet in the film at this point. Uh, quite basic print on the back, but at least it's the child figure with the bendable legs, which is always always good because you can actually sit them down and pose them and actually 
with the studs on the back with the stud holes on the back you can actually put them into things which is always always nice uh alternate face on harry so we've got a slightly angry looking face and we've got the normal everyday face so that one's pretty cool as well and we shall pick out while we're here the driver um of the bus i always like the uh the bald pieces with the hair at the side so that's like the extra nice little piece uh, single face on this guy as well like his uh, torso cardigan with shirt and tie which is pretty cool again uh yeah and this guy obviously can't see very well as as depicted in the film uh so he has his little shrunken head dude to actually help him drive the bus which is a little bit more difficult to get out um it will prove quite impossible to get back in but you just get the headpiece of the shrunken head which uh, you got these little dreadlocks at the back there which is again a really cool addition to the set so let's have a look at the rest of the bus quite a big open interior because of the thing is and you got the uh, another sticker on there saying daily profit uh one seat for your passenger and the seat which turns about so you can actually get your minifigure in and out of the driver's seat which is also very cool now if you want you can actually take the roof off and you can go in from the top as well so a big in a small small condensed set quite a large area you can actually access which is really really good really clever so yeah, let's move that away for a second and have a look in the final piece. Now this one does contain it's just a roof that's just like on, not clipped in. It just comes off nice and easy. And in there you've got, you know, the, the newspaper which says the boy that lived. And you've got a nice little treasure chest in there. So not too much to thingy in there. Not too much going on in the top deck. I suppose you could put a minifigure in there, but it's primarily just user storage. I like the uh, front piece there, which is on like a hinged, well, it's a clips and thingy system so that it can be hinged. But that, that then looks sleek and slick back. Uh, good, good design on the back there. The only little thing you have to do have the tiniest gap because of the triangle wedge pieces in there. But overall, it looks pretty good. And inside the little treasure chest, there is some, whatever that is, goo, drink, whatever. Uh, one of the little letters that Harry gets and a chocolate bar. The inclusion of a chocolate bar, which is very, very nice. Always very, very nice to get the inclusion of a chocolate bar. Okay, so all together, and then that just clips on because it's just a couple of studs. Not too many. Just nicely clips in place. And there you go. Rolls well. It plays well. Like I say, that, that chandelier that you can see moving about in there just adds to the effect like it did in the movie. Overall, looks pretty good. And the front profile does look pretty good. These have got sticker, it is stickers there again. But yeah, it's overall looking pretty good. I'm going to spin you around now and show you what it looks like in relation to me. So here it is, the Harry Potter night bus. It's pretty cool. It's a triple decker bus based on a London bus, an old London bus, but it's purple, not red, uh, as it was in the Harry Potter film, which is pretty cool. So it looks the part. I love it, the interior detail with that little chandelier that moves about and the bed that moves about. It's great. I think it's it's really, really good. Well thought out. And a, quite an inexpensive set as well. So, you know, you get three minifigures with it, which is always good. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, the fact that you can, you can get into play with it and you can take the top off, you can easily take the roof off. Loads of playability factor in a small-ish set, which... Thumbs up in my view, really good. Um, I think it'll look good on the road of the city, just as a general, well, bus. <laughs> so yeah, 
the triple decker bus, as it were. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It looks just pretty darn good. What are your thoughts? Comment below um, what you think of this one and what you think of, you know, the whole thing in general, the ideas behind it. Yeah. Go for it. Go on ahead and comment. Guys, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I shall see you in the next video. See you later.